Hey guys, it's Mercy Q. I'm back again, and this week I have um, been studying. Oh my gosh, um, Hebrews, First and Second Timothy, the Epistles of Paul. Getting so much knowledge on things uh, that I do already, and then some things that I don't know. I have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelations. Um, growing up throughout the years many a times and it is uh, not a cliche to say you can learn something every time you read the Bible in a different way and it never fails and I just want to thank God for that but I was in Hebrews yesterday oh my gosh and on my audio Bible just soaking in the word I'm telling you I've been soaking in the word of God I want my spirit man to come to a different place. And some would probably say, what do you mean that you wanted to come to a different place? I'm telling you, there's so much going on in the spiritual realm that is so much uh, taking place. We are made of flesh. We are all spirit, but there's so much going on in the supernatural. Um, we see the manifestations of what's happening in the spirit. And this is this is where the revelation is at on the earth. We go through so many spiritual things to the point where it manifests. Whether if it manifests a car wreck, destruction, whether if it manifests for us to think something in our head for it to brew in our heart, because the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. What's going on? What's taking place in my life? I'm making sure that what I speak to everybody else, it's saving me as well. Amen. And so I was just all in Hebrews. And if you haven't sat down uh, to read Hebrews, everyone knows the famous scripture about faith is the substance of hope for faith is the substance of, of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. But if you dig a little bit deeper into Hebrews. It talks about Moses and how he chose not to be uh, grown up to be called the Pharaoh's child. Uh, Moses went against the stride. Moses went against the stride of life. And it also says in Hebrews that Moses, he decided to not take into the pleasures of this life. Dude, when I read this yesterday, when I read this yesterday, like I said, you could read something and go over and over and over about it. But oh, my dear Lord God and Savior Christ Jesus, when I read that Moses decided not to go with the form of pleasures and do the things that everybody else was doing, he wanted to suffer and get his reward. Oh, my God. Why am I saying this today? I want to say that um, many of us go, well, what am I supposed to be doing? I've said it a lot to myself growing up. I've been through those stages. I know where you're at. I understand. Been there, done that. Moses intervened. He intervened, excuse me, in his life. He intervened in his own life. Moses intervened in his own life. And decided not to go and take in with the pleasures of this world. That says a mouthful. I know it does. Why? Because I've decided to do it. Let me just put myself at the top. You decided to do it. People you know, we all decided to take into the pleasures of this life. Meaning, from a child, we didn't abandon this world to bear the sufferings of the Lord to get our, our reward later. We chose the pleasures of this life. So Moses and, 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 and other men and women of God didn't even know and did not experience sins or pleasures of this life. What they did was they were holy and the persecutions and different things that they went through was the norm. God has been really trying to speak to me. And, and and as as God speaks to me, I'm understanding stuff a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more about myself. And this is what I'm understanding. 
I'm understanding that the reason why parts of my walk is confusing is because of what God just spoke to me yesterday through Hebrews. I chose to take the pleasures of this life. I didn't completely cut off this life and decided to go the way of God and have an understanding that, you know what? I didn't do anything wrong. So I know and understand it doesn't care about, hey, the persecution. Because people back in the day who were serving God, they understood that it was persecution. They didn't have any confusion. They didn't confuse themselves. I'm the one that's confused myself in my life. A lot of us have. So therefore, understanding when you do go through things. I'm I still, I, I be talking to God and praying. I say, God, I'm going through things because I put myself through things. You know, whether if it be by mistake or things that I know that I have done. You get what I'm saying? And so that's that's where we have to separate black and white. Oh, we're, we're going to get that color gray. We're going to get that color gray. And we got to separate that. We got to separate it. We got to separate that confusion, how certain spirits can manifest in our life. And there's so much going on in the spiritual realm where we got to separate the confusion, the middle pieces that don't belong. Meaning if you were on the side of God, you would understand what you're going through. If you were completely on the side with serving the world, you would understand what you're going through. But when you're in and you're out, when you're unsure one year and then the next year, you want to do both. You want to serve God, do a little bit of God, meaning go to church. And then you wonder why God ain't doing nothing for you, but you go home after church and you do some things for yourself. You take out your dildo, you masturbate and, th- and different things like that. You follow what I'm saying? We're not talking about judgment today. We're just talking about <clears throat> the word of God. We're trying to get understanding, but first you must read confusion. <clears throat> get understanding by reading uh, a double life. Get understanding. And a lot of us, we're in that place, call it an in-between place, not like a dream in-between place, but an in-between place where you want God, you, you, you yearn for God, but you're still in the world. But then some people are in God and still struggling with sin and they're not giving it over to God. And then here comes this thing where, oh my gosh, I'm scared and I'm fearful of God. What's going to happen to me? And then you got people like me who I'm going through this thing and, you know, here comes the devil with so many things. But also at the same time, I feel like I'm bringing myself down as well by not continuing to understand where I'm at. Because God is a person. He called me. He didn't wait for me to stop sinning. He called me right in the middle of my sin growing up. <clears throat> Excuse me. He called me right in the middle of my sin. Hey, come out. He didn't say, wait for this and that a point check. Wait for this point check. Wait for that point check. And then meaning you ever heard that religious statement? God, I'll serve you one day. I'll serve you when I'm ready. I'll serve you when I get better. And then we never get better for the most of us. Is all that I'm trying to say. We never get better. So. Let us come to a place where God accepts us the way that we are. And what that means is, is that he starts working on us after he starts to work on us. He doesn't want to leave us how we are and where we are. He just wants us to stop right smack dab in the middle of what you're doing for you to give your life to him. And I remember uh, at one time in my life where I was working for Jack in the Box. I know you uh, all of you guys remember that, me working for Jack in the Box. And while I was at work, God would talk to me on my most busiest hour of my shift in my job. I'm running around taking orders. I'm making drinks. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And I'm sitting here, uh, can hear the voice of God. And I remember one time God was talking to me audibly uh, just like my voice is, that's what audible means. I was doing laundry in my house and, uh, he was telling me about my other job and how, how I won't be there too much longer. And I was, you know, doing something, but I wasn't, you know, still and before his presence. And, um, 
a lot of a lot of times it just happens that way that's how god is he wants to come smack dab and he shows up whenever he wants to show up he gonna show up on a time that you least expect it 